Welcome to the company presentation at Commodity TV, ladies and gentlemen. Fission Uranium is the world's largest uranium explorer and trades at a TSX in Toronto under the symbol FCU. The company has 371.5 million shares outstanding and a market cap of approximately 420 million Canadian dollars. The stock is very liquid with around 1.9 million shares traded every day. And in addition, the company has a healthy 29 million Canadian dollar cash. Eight analysts cover the stock with price targets between $1.70 and $2.40, which gives a lot of valuation room given the current share price at around $1.15. What makes a triple R deposit so favorable? Well, it is large, has high grades, and it is shallow. And in addition, it is one of the best top jurisdictions in the world because it's located in Canada. Important for uranium is supply and, de and demand situation. Well, it looks like that demand will rise significantly in the future. It is expected that the electricity demand will grow by 76% by 2030 and the number of reactors going online is rising significantly too. In the next 12 months, every two months, we see a new nuclear power plant going into production in China. Currently are 437 in operation in the world and 65 under construction. Within 8 to 10 years, we expect in addition 165 nuclear power Power plants and a total plus of 331 by 2030. Those plants have to be fueled and so uranium is heavily in a supply deficit now. Well, Fission's project should be then in a position to help the market when in production to produce some million pounds of uranium per annum. China is fast moving forward with their nuclear development as they want to have their non-fossil energy from currently 1.5% share on primary energy, then by 2020 at 15% nuclear share of total primary energy, which means a growth of 300% and the target by 2030 is 20% share of total primary energy for nuclear energy, which equals 780% growth rate. Let's have a look at the Triple R project, which is located in the Arabasca Basin. Well, guys, grade is king and Canada has an average grade of 2% U308, which means 46 grams of gold equivalent per ton. The Arabasca Basin is the premier high-grade uranium district in Canada. The grades are more than 10 times higher than the world average and the environment is politically stable, pro-mining with a clear permitting process. The excellent infrastructure is a huge advantage for the project and, like mills nearby, power grid, good highways and air service and airport availabilities. The Triple R is the third largest deposit in the Arabasca Basin. By now, the R780E zone has delivered a resource of 105 million pounds uranium, of which nearly 80 million pounds are in the indicated category. They are now drilling the R600W zone. This zone is a rapidly growing high-grade zone 500 meters west of Triple R, with again fantastic drill results like hole PLS15352 with 31.5 meters and 11% uranium. The Triple R initial resource is the largest for the major discoveries in the basin since 2000 and it is near surface, high grade and it is large, gentlemen. Within only two years from discovery, they did the resource and now expand it still. This is a record concerning time. In addition come a lot more exploration targets which gives room for the future. Next steps are after the winter drill program, now the summer drill program and the delineation of a PEA by end of summer. We expect due to all the advantages of the project good economic numbers even if this is a speculation of course. But compared with other projects we think that the figures will be positive. Well, the PEA will tell us. The top management around Deferent Harbor rounds the exceptional view we have on fission uranium. Also, Ross McElroy is one of the top geologists in the world and you want to have him always in your team when it comes to uranium exploration and discovery. Their track record, the delivery of 105 million pounds uranium resource, nobody expected, gives a lot of upside for the future of fission uranium. Check it out. Thanks and bye bye from Munich.